Welcome to Maths Companion. In the last video, we have discussed questions on page 170. Today, let us discuss the next section, Distances and Heights. To see things taller than us, we have to lift our heads. Suppose this girl is looking straight, then her line of vision is like this. Line of vision is the imaginary line from our eyes to an object which we are looking at. Usually when we look straight, our line of vision is parallel to the ground. Now suppose she looks at the top of the tree, then her line of vision is like this. The angle between these two lines is called the angle of elevation. Here this person is standing on the top of this building. When he looks straight, his line of vision is like this. Now when he looks towards the car, his line of vision is like this. The angle between these two lines is called angle of depression. Now let us do some problems. First problem. A man standing 10 meters away from the foot of a tree sees its top at an elevation of 40 degree. His height is 1.7 meters. What is the height of the tree? There is a tree and a man. His height is 1.7 meters. When the height of a person is given, we can show him using a line. If the height is not given, he is a point. Now let us draw a figure for this question. This is the ground and there is a tree. There is a person, his height is 1.7 meters. Given that the distance between the person and the tree is 10 meters. Now he sees the top of the tree at an elevation of 40 degree. Angle of elevation means he has to look straight at first then he has to look upwards. The angle between these two lines is angle of elevation that is 40 degree. Now let us give a name for this figure. Let us give names for all the joints. We have to find the height of the tree. In this figure AC is the tree. BC and DE are equal. Therefore BC equal to 1.7 meters. So to find the height of the tree it is enough to find the length of AB. We can see a right angle triangle here, the triangle ABE and AB is one side of this triangle. Based on this angle, it is the opposite side and we know CD and BE are equal. Therefore, BE equal to 10 meters. Based on this angle, it is the adjacent side. So let us take the ratio between opposite side and adjacent side that is tan. So let us take tan 40. Tan 40 equal to opposite side by adjacent side or AB by BE. The value of tan 40 is 0 0.8391 and BE is 10 meters. Replacing the values we can write 0 0.8391 equal to AB by 10. Taking 10 on the other side we can write AB equal to 0 0.8391 into 10. Multiplying we get 8.391. Now let us find the height of the tree. In the figure height of the tree is AC and AC can be written as AB plus BC. AB is 8.391 and BC is equal to DE and that is 1.7. Adding together we get 10.091. That is height of this tree is 10.091 meters. Second problem. 
a man 1.8 meters tall, stands on the top of a lighthouse 25 meters high and sees a ship at sea at a depression of 35 degree. How far is it from the foot of the lighthouse? There is a lighthouse, the height is 25 meters and there is a person standing on this lighthouse, his height is 1.8 meters. There is a ship in the sea and the person sees this ship at a depression of 35 degree. We have to find the distance between the ship and the foot of the lighthouse. Let us draw the figure. This is the ground and after the ground the sea continues. And there is a lighthouse. The height is 25 meters. The man is standing on the top of this lighthouse. His height is 1.8 meters. The ship is here. The man sees the ship at a depression of 35 degree. Angle of depression means he has to look straight at first, then he has to look downwards. The angle between them is angle of depression that is 35 degree. Now let us give a name for this figure. We need to find the distance between the ship and the foot of the lighthouse that is CD. We can see a right angle triangle here the triangle ACD. This angle is 35 degree. Therefore, this angle is also 35 degree. Because these two lines are parallel lines and these are alternate angles. We know alternate angles are equal. Again, sum of these two angles is 90 degree. Since this angle is 35 degree, this angle is 55 degree. Based on this angle, DC is the opposite side AC is the adjacent side. If you are taking this angle, AC is the opposite side and CD is the adjacent side. Anyway, we have to take the tan value. Depending on the value given, we can select the angle. If tan 35 is given, we can take this angle. If tan 55 is given, we can take this angle. Here I am going to take this angle. Based on this angle, CD is the opposite side and AC is the adjacent side. The ratio between opposite side and adjacent side is tan. So let us take tan 55. Tan 55 equal to opposite side by adjacent side or CD by AC. The value of tan 55 is 1.4281 and AC is 25 plus 1.8 or 26.8. Replacing the values we can write 1.4281 equal to CD by 26.8. Taking 26.8 on the other side we can write CD equal to 1.4281 into 26.8. Multiplying we get 38.27308. That is approximately equal to 38.27. That is, the distance from the lighthouse to the ship is 38.27 meters. Third problem. A boy standing at the edge of a canal sees the top of a tree at an elevation of 70 degree. Stepping 10 meters back, he sees it at an elevation of 25 degree. The boy is 1.5 meters tall. How wide is the canal and how tall is the tree? There is a canal and on one side there is a tree and on the other side there is a boy. His height is 1.5 meters. He sees the top of the tree at an elevation of 70 degree. Then he moves 10 meters backwards. From there he sees the top of the tree at an elevation of 25 degree. We have to find the width of the canal and height of the tree. Let us draw a figure at first. This is the canal. On one side there is a tree and on the other side there is a boy. His height is 1.5 meters. He sees the top of the tree at an elevation of 70 degree. Angle of elevation means he has to look straight at first then he has to look upwards. The angle between these two lines is the angle of elevation that is 70 degree here. Now he moves 10 meters backwards. The boy is here now and we know his height is 1.5 meters. 
From this point, he sees the top of the tree at an elevation of 25 degree. That means he has to look straight at first, then he has to look upwards. The angle between them is 25 degree. Now let us give a name for the figure. Now let us understand what we have to find based on this figure. We need to find the width of the canal that is CD in this figure and we know that is equal to BE. Also we have to find the height of the tree that is AC in the figure and we know BC is equal to 1.5 therefore it is enough to find the length of AB to find the height of the tree. That means we need to find AB and BE. Let me take CD equal to X then BE is also equal to X. Let A be equal to Y. First of all, let us find two right triangles in the figure. The first right triangle is triangle ABE and the second right triangle is triangle ABG. Let us take the first right angle triangle ABE. We need to find AB because it is part of the tree. We need to find BE because it is equal to the width of the canal. Based on this angle, this is the opposite side and this is the adjacent side. And we know the ratio between opposite side and adjacent side is tan. So let us take tan 70. Tan 70 is opposite side by adjacent side or AB by BE. The value of tan 70 is 2.7475 and AB is taken as Y, BE is taken as X. So we can write this as 2.7475 equal to Y by X. Taking X on the other side we can write Y equal to 2.7475 X. Now let us look at the second right angle triangle ABG. We need to find AB because it is part of the tree. We need to find BG because that is equal to CF and canal is a part of this line. Based on this angle, AB is the opposite side and BG is the adjacent side. So let us take tan 25. Tan 25 equal to opposite side by adjacent side or AB by BG. The value of tan 25 is 0.4663. AB is y and bg is x plus 10. So we can write this as 0.4663 equal to y by x plus 10. Taking x plus 10 on the other side we can write y equal to 0.4663 into x plus 10. Now look at these two y equal to 2.7475 x y equal to 0.4663 into x plus 10. These two are equal. Therefore, we can say 2.7475 x equal to 0.4663 into x plus 10. Now, let us multiply. 0.4663 into x is 0.4663 x. 0.4663 into 10 is 4.663. So this can be written as 2.7475x equal to 0.4663x plus 4.663. Let us take the term containing x on the other side. Then we can write 2.7475x minus 0.4663x equal to 4.663. Subtracting we get 2.2812x. So we can say 2.2812x equal to 4.663. To find x, let us take 2.2812 on the other side. And we can write x equal to 4.663 divided by 2.2815. Dividing, we get 2.043830, etc. We can approximately take it as 2.04. Now we know y equal to 2.7475x and we have got the value of x as 2.04. So this can be written as 2.7475 into 2.04.
multiplying we get 5.6049 we can approximately take it as 5.6 so now we have got the value of x and y let us find the width of the canal now we know width of the canal is x and we have got the value of x as 2.04 meters therefore width of the canal is 2.04 meters now height of the tree is ac and ac can be written as ab plus bc ab is y and bc is 1.5 and we have got the value of y as 5.6 so this can be written as 5.6 plus 1.5 adding together we get 7.1 meters that is height of the tree is 7.1 meters today we have discussed angle of elevation and angle of depression and we have done some problems using these ideas now there is a homework when the sun is at an elevation of 40 degree the length of the shadow of a tree is 18 meters what is the height of the tree let us discuss the remaining problems in the next video. Till then, bye.